what we're going to do is we're going to start by learning how to schematic something and paste a schematic in your world. So to start that, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the schematic and quill and you're going to place the block, the little ghost block that appears, you're going to place that in the corner of the build that you want to schematic. Now you're going to right click and when you right click you'll notice that that ghost block stays right where it is. From there, what you want to do, or what I rather what I try to do, is I come to the other side and then I just kind of walk my way backwards and then I stop at the back corner and I right click again. You see how that color changed on the schematic, or on the uh, ghost block, and then now I can move around and that ghost block no longer follows me. So what you can do now is you can hold down shift while you're in the air. So crouch and hold down spacebar if you're in creative mode like me and you want to go up in the air. Or you can just tower up if you're in survival. And you're going to crouch and you're going to pull back on your mouse wheel. And you see how the ghost block gets taller. You push the mouse wheel forward and the ghost block gets shorter. So basically just take that ghost block up to the top of your the thing that you want a schematic and then once you've once you're satisfied that you have everything you're going to right click one more time and that's going to bring up the schematic name menu now i generally name my schematic zero underscore zero so that the more important ones stay up in the front and the ones that i just schematic just all willy-nilly like different pieces and parts that i need to move around and everything i just name them you know regular names so if I want something to be up in the front, like if it's important, like if it's a locomotive, I just do zero underscore zero because nothing else is going to be ahead of that name-wise in your, in your name menu. Um, just computer reasons and whatnot. Um, you probably can figure out a character combination to be ahead of that in the name menu, but you know, just that's, that's what, this is what I do. You do you. Now, if you want to be able to search for your schematic in your schematic folder easily, then you can go ahead and you put a space in between that zero underscore zero, and then it's just easier to search for Henry or whatever. Um, or if you just don't really care, then just put the word Henry afterwards. Um, and then you click your check mark here to save it. I already have a million schematics for Henry, so we're not going to worry about saving that. And now I'm going to show you how to pull that schematic out. What you're going to do is you're going to come to your schematic table. You're going to right click it. You're going to place an empty schematic inside here. And then you'll scroll through your massive list of schematics. And you're going to just find the schematic that you need. And I need the one called Henry Old Shape. This guy right here. And then you're just going to hit the check mark. It will load that schematic and you'll place that in your inventory. Now to place a schematic for a locomotive, what you can do is what I like to do anyway, is I like to put the station in build mode so that I have this blue line. You'll take the schematic and you're going to right click and that's going to generate the ghost locomotive in front of you. Then you can just put, hold down the left alt button to switch in between the different selections. If you're in creative mode, you'll see this print option to be able to just print the schematic without any cost. If you're in survival, you will your, your mouse will stop at mirror and go all the way back to move XZ. So you're gonna just rotate your schematic, move your schematic back so that the front wheel, the middle of the front wheel is over top of that blue line and then just lower it down onto the tracks. Again, if you're in creative mode, you would just hit print. If you were not in creative mode, then you would just load your schematic into the schematic cannon and proceed forward with the schematic cannon from there.